Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and if your Yukon has the HID headlights or the high intensity discharge headlights, and you notice that one of them is bright white and the other is turning yellow, I'm gonna show you how you can diagnose it and fix it. So in this case, as you can see, uh, the passenger side one here is a bright, uh, nice white, and you can see how this one's turning yellow. And so uh, I noticed this first as I was pulling into the garage and it was reflecting on my uh, cabinets. But uh, basically what we're gonna do is take this apart. If it's doing this, it's most likely not the ballast, it's the actual uh, bulb itself. And uh, it supposedly not long after it turns yellow, it will eventually go out. And so this is for the low beams, the high beams still work, so you wanna check that too. And so uh, as you can see, this is kind of what it looks like now. It's an orangish color. And uh, so what I actually did is we're gonna switch bulbs from one side to the other and see if the problem follows. And so uh, as you can see here, this is on the driver's side, but uh, this is after the video. Here it is before we start the video. You can see the orange color is on the passenger side. So I'm gonna show you how we can swap these over to make sure that it is the bulb itself and not a ballast or anything like that. So inside there's a little circular cover here and very simply all you're gonna do is reach down in here and you're gonna turn it counterclockwise and that cover will spin right off. And so here is the actual backside of the bulb. Uh, as you can see, Osram is the uh, brand for this one. And so what we need to do is remove this and unplug it. So inside you'll notice there's plastic tabs on a ring. So that's this uh, ring piece right there. So you're gonna just put your finger in on each side. Uh, you can see there's a tab on the left and the right side. And we're gonna rotate this uh, basically counterclockwise in order to unlock it. So we're gonna put your fingers in and twist it and unlock it. And then we can now pull the assembly out. So this is not the ballast per se, this is the bulb uh, system here. And so as you pull it out, you'll see this is what it looks like. And we're just gonna unplug it here. So gently take a screwdriver right at the base and just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Just be very careful with it. This one was a little bit stubborn, but after some wiggling, it came right apart. So that's how this disconnects. It's just a plug. Uh, there's no tabs or anything. It just slides right off, but it did take a little bit of effort to get that off. And so uh, now we're gonna go to the uh, passenger side, which is a little more difficult. We're gonna take a 10 millimeter bolt out and move this bar over. Then we're gonna take our 5 16 And for the air box, there's four of these screws, one on each corner. We're gonna take the mass airflow meter switch, pull it up to unlock it, and then push in on the tab here, and it will slide off. And so now we're gonna take off this little bolt here too, it's also 5 16 so I'm just gonna unscrew it till it's loose. We don't have to take it all the way off. And now we can separate the air box from the air intake tube. So once you pull that apart, we can just flip this up and out of the way. There is another clip here. If you wanna take that off, you can, but we can just flip this apart. It's a little easier that way. And now the air box will lift straight up and then push over. There's nothing really holding it down but some uh, tabs in there on the bottom. So we'll push it out of the way and get it to clear. Now it's the same thing on the passenger side. We undo this little cover just by spinning it. And here's our other headlight assembly uh, bulb here on this side. So same thing, we're gonna reach in there with that locking ring and uh, twist it. And so then it will come out. Uh, and then we're just gonna remove it just like we did on the driver's side with a screwdriver. Just gonna get down in here at the base and give it a nice uh, little twist here. Uh, just be very careful with it and it will separate just like the uh, driver's side did and it just unplugs. And so now what we're gonna do is basically just take this one and uh, swap it with the other side and see if uh, the problem follows to the, the other side. And then we'll know what piece we need to buy. So we went ahead and took the bad one from that side and we're putting it into this driver's side. And it's the opposite uh, uh, for uh, installation. You just plug it in uh, just the way that we took it out. And now as we turn the headlights on, where it was turning yellow on the passenger side, now it's turning yellow on the driver's side. So we know that that's the piece that we need to change and it's uh, not exactly the whole ballast system that we have to buy. So hopefully that can save us some money. 
Um, so in the beginning, as you would turn the headlights on on this, it, they would both come on okay, and then they would start to fade. So that's what was happening in mine. Now that I turn the headlights on and I can see that the problem moved over, uh, I know that it's just that uh, piece that I need to buy. So check my video description. I'll try to put links where you can buy these pieces from my Amazon affiliate. And also check the link in the description for my other Yukon videos. But anyway, we'll go ahead and put the rest of this back together now. It's on the easier side for us uh, to work on later. So here's the air box. It just has pins in the bottom of it. So you wanna just make sure that you line those up into the holes, as you can see down in here, and uh, then just push it in towards the fender and that's where it's going to lock into place. So once you have the air box down in there, just make sure that it's all in where it should be. And then we're going to go ahead and put that cover back down into the headlight. Uh, we're going to reattach our air intake here, plug in our mass airflow back in and put the little locking pin back down. We've got our four screws on each of the air box corners here and our bar that comes over with its 10 millimeter bolt uh, to put that back in place. And now we're just putting our cover back on on the driver's side as well. So remember it has two little notches here on each side. And so we're just gonna line this up and twist it and it'll lock right into place. So anyway, uh, this is how you resolve this problem. I'm just gonna order the light bulb that I actually need for this side. Now it's on the driver's side, which is a lot more accessible, a little easier to switch out as soon as the part comes in. And this is a good way to test it because I would hate to uh, buy a new part uh, just to have it do the same problem if it was like the ballast or something worse. So anyway, please check the video description for the rest of my Yukon videos and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.